Welcome back, everybody. Um, just going over a few things here and realizing that the, uh, the old rig is actually in the way of the light. So I'm just going to tip it over so it doesn't fall over. Um, picked up a few things, as I said the other day. I already had what I was going to use as a lead screw. Um, for those that um, haven't seen them before, um, it's just a piece of a threaded bar. I particularly like the zinc plate um, and in the middle is a coupling nut uh, it's a very I oh, can't hold my hand still without shaking at this angle but it's a very wide nut in fact it's about an inch from side to side I don't have my, my calipers up here but I'll just quickly put this on my ruler it's actually seven eighths of an inch from from there to there um, and it has very little, it has, in fact it has almost no linear play. The little bit of clicking you're hearing is because one end of the this coupling nut on this nut, this end here is a little bit wider. So you're actually hearing the click of this way, of, of uh, this way movement. And you're hearing the squeak of this old chair in the back. Sorry about that. But there's no play parallel to the the rod so coupling nuts do a really good job on lead screws whether you're using it for a, a CNC or 3d printer which is just really a type of, of CNC um, so you would have this and then as you would move the rod as you thread your rod this nuts gonna go up and down on the rod now coupling this to a stepper motor I've got this old beast here he's kind of he's kind of old he's, he needs to be taken apart and uh, lubricated inside um, this stepper motor here would go on the end of the axle there. Um, I'm just going to go this side. So you would have like a, a piece of rubber. Now one of the fellows online had mentioned that uh, the rubber tubing that you can get at Walmart or that that goes between um, for the toilet. Uh, I think it's just like a little thin piece of rubber there. Apparently the inside of that is actually quite small and um, it will join like a five millimeter shaft to a six millimeter outside diameter thread like this and again I'm not sure if that's a an acne thread or not I don't I know it's not millimeters uh, all the measurements were imperial imperial um, unfortunately the skew number for one of the parts I got doesn't match up but this here is a one quarter that's a I don't know if this is going to show up it's a call it it's going to focus for us. Maybe it won't. Maybe it will. There we go. It's a collet. It has a little set screw. This is actually not aluminum. This is actually uh, supposed to be a chromed steel collet. Um, I suppose it's heavy. Yeah, you can't really tell from the drop there. But uh, of course, I go to put it on, and that's the time that the, the uh, set screw had gone in a bit. Um, it's a quarter inch. And uh, set still set screws still giving me a trouble. Um, let's see if I can just open that set screw a little bit more. It doesn't want to. There we go. Um, quarter inch just fits on there with a tiny little bit of side to side place. So the outside diameter of these threads, the outside diameter of the threads, this will focus here for us. Come on, camera. Focus. Focus. Focus, please. There we go. Um, this will allow me to set a particular height and lock it on, on here. And the outside of these threads are approximately a quarter inch. So what that's going to let me do is take this bronze bushing that I'd mentioned in the previous video buy them at the same place I got that call it uh, that's Princess Auto if you're in Canada or, or Newfoundland it's the name of the store and they have a uh, machinist and fabrication supplies I'm gonna take this which is lubricated self lubricating bronze it's been impregnated with oil and I'm gonna cut through that it sits perfectly on here and I'm gonna use the top half of this bushing at the top of the printer to hold up there and the bottom half I'm going to use it below the collet into a 3D block so it'll be below the collet and above the 
stepper motor. So the weight of anything on the, the lead screw is going to be resting on the top of this with a washer uh, against that. So essentially you'd have this. In fact, I probably don't even need a washer except that might not be that might not be a, a smooth enough joint there, but I'll probably put a washer in the middle there. So essentially you'd have this at the bottom. That'll be cut in half and the other half of this would be at the top. Now this here nut will simply sock it into those who've seen a, uh, one of the i3 style rep wraps. Um, this nut will sock it into the x-axis uh, carriage which is either going to hold a set of these eight millimeter bars or like I was saying before I might make a, a hybrid using um, some of the uh, L-channel aluminum type stuff like I did on the top of the, the uh, carriage from the, the last video. Now remember I mentioned uh, that I'd already tested out the um, motion of the print bed using the smaller smaller bars. What I actually did is I don't have the heated print bed yet but the fellow I ordered it from gave me the exact dimensions so I just pre-cut it out. So I just pre-cut it out onto this sheet so I knew. I figured out how far apart my pillow blocks are going to be and then I uh, set it up so that it could get its full motion so that with this here and something to I'm just going to use this to mark the end what I wanted to be sure was this is showing up that the actual printing area which is this line passes this point in the full motion so if you notice here it comes comes well past it's almost like one and a half centimeters anyhow it's a small mechanical update here again today um, I'm hoping this stayed in focus I know there's not much power left on this camera I just wanted to say um, I managed to get my hands on another little HD camera um, it's not as high resolution as the one we're watching now but it should let us get some uh, um, different views later on and it works a little different different lighting but we'll play with that on a, on a different date anyhow that's my uh, update so far as you can see I was 3d, 3D printing my parts I made this part here I don't know if that's gonna show up I think it's gonna show up I made this part here and I'm going to put that up on uh, Thingiverse. Hopefully that's showing. And that just is eventually going to hold down on the main frame or the main bed down below. And uh, it will allow that to move. And this rail is the, uh, we'll call it the sister rail to that one. Um, and of course this is only the same as the print bed in one direction. I cut it short just for working with. Um, and this will probably end up being the Y with the, the X over it like that. Anyhow, um, I'm going to uh, go charge this camera before I get any further into it. I don't want to lose the video. As always, if you've got any questions or comments, put them down below. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.